hello everyone <clears throat> how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b divided by b plus b plus b is equals to b and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here first we need to find <clears throat> all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these two methods, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem from first method. And now here you focus in the denominator of this term and you see here these are the three same variable terms are uh, added by each other so uh, here it will be written as this is b divided by b plus b plus b becomes three times of b is equals to b and further in the next step here we need to move this 3b from left hand side to the right hand side and it is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by b and it will becomes here b is equals to b multiplied by three times of b and here we obtain b is equals to b multiplied by 3b is equals to uh, 3 times of b square and here in the next step we need to move this b from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as 3b square minus b is equals to 0 and now further you see here this b is lies on both of these two terms and now we need to take common b from here and when we take common b we get the remaining values are from here we get 3b minus from here we get 1 only and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 3b minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to find the value of b from here so that we first move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become 3b is equals to plus 1 and for the values of b we need to remove this 3 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 3 so this 3 and this 3 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here b is equals to 1 over 3 so this is the second value of b so here in the first method we will get these are the two values of b but now here in the next steps we need to verify that if these two values of b are satisfied of a given question statement or not or in other words we just check that both of these two values are a solution or extraneous root so for verification uh, we need to copy down given question statement here it is b plus b plus b is equals to b and in this side we will be verify b is equals to zero and in this side we will be verify b is equals to 1 over 3 so here uh, when we substitute b equals to 0 uh, on both of the sides it will be written as this is 0 divided by 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0 and we have this is 0 divided by 0 equals to 0 so if you see here in the left hand side we have it is the 0 by 0 form or is usually we will call that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined form this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this means that b equals to 0 is not satisfied over this given equation so if this is not satisfied over a given equation it means that b equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and here when we put b equals to 1 over 3 on both of the sides it will be written as uh, 1 over 3 divided by this is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 and this is equals to also 1 over 3 so here uh, we just focus into the denominator term and it will be written as 1 over 3 divided by here uh, 1 over 3 is added by 3 times it will be written as 3 times of 1 over 3 and this whole is equals to 1 over 3 and you see here this 3 and this 3 are cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 over 3 is equals to 1 over 3 so here uh, you see that both of the sides are equal 
This means that the value of b is equal to 1 over 3 is satisfied our given question statement. So we finally conclude about that. The solution set of this question is b is equal to 1 over 3. So this is the final conclusion about first method. And now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method. And in second method, uh, we just need to copy down given question statement here. And the given question statement is b divided by b plus b plus b is equal to b. And here uh, in this method, I can just give, I, I can just uh, find a quickest way to get the roots of this equation. So here first you need to focus into the denominator term and we have b is added by 3 times it will become 3 times of b is equals to b. So this b and this b are cancelled out by each other and we easily get the value of b is equals to 1 over 3. So in the second method we will get only one value of b that is 1 over 3 and in the first method we already verified that this value of b is satisfied over given question statement it means that the solution set of this question is 1 over 3. So this is our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.